fur friends, welcome to our channel. Thanks for watching. My name's Tracy and today we're going to show you our top four shampoos for your dogs with itchy, sensitive skin. So stay tuned. I've been grooming for about 17 years now and there's always dogs that are coming in and people will say to me they're, they're really, really itchy or they've got allergies or there's hot spots. Dogs are, some dogs are really prone to hot spots. Some dogs just have chronic allergies. Sometimes they're environmental allergies. So it just depends. But I always have to make sure that when, when these, these problems are coming in that I'm picking the proper shampoo to use on specific skin issues. So I'm going to go through some of the shampoos that I suggest trying and just give you the, the pros on, on what's in them and how they can help your dog. And you just have to be really, really careful choosing shampoos. It's important, like some people say, oh, I use baby shampoo. And I think they think that baby shampoo is okay because it's considered a gentle shampoo. But shampoos for dogs are not the same as shampoos for humans. So the pH levels and all the shampoos and everything are different. So just be careful. Don't be using, um, I've heard some people use like Dove shampoo, your, your dish, dish detergents and stuff like that. That's a no-no too. So just, just be aware of what you're picking and I'm gonna go through and try and help you out. So in no specific order as far as preference goes, cause they all sort of have a different purpose, but sort of do the same thing if that makes sense. And these are all really high-end shampoos. They come in, of course, I buy them in, in gallon sizes. Um, this is four liters actually. Or um, um, if you're not obviously wanting such a large quantity, you, most of them come in a probably a liter size. So that, that's something to consider too. So when you're picking a shampoo, think about what your the, the dog's skin issues are. And then read, I would read the ingredients because all the ingredients are shown on the back of the, of the containers. And then it'll specifically say um, what, what it's good for. And also to keep in mind too is you can dilute most of these products. So some of them are 10 to one, some of them are eight to one. And sometimes it says right on it, for a, for a more effective, like if, if you're bathing them regularly in it, you could dilute it. But if you want to give them one strong um, uh, shampoo, you can use it um, with no water, just the, just the shampoo, and scrub them all over with it and leave it on them for five to ten minutes. And it'll just really soak into the skin and just it, it'll soothe the skin a lot a lot better if you're leaving it on for an extended period of time. So the first one, it's called Seuss. This is actually a really good line of shampoos. They've got many specific shampoos for specific reasons. And like, I mean, I could, it's endless, but they've probably got, I don't even want to give a number, but they've got a great line. If you look them up on online, that'll, it'll explain each type of shampoo. This specific one is an anti-itch shampoo and it's, and it's really heavy. So it's, they say it's from Dead Sea, um, Dead Sea products and it hydrates, soothes and relieves dry itching skin. And it says it's for long term itch relief. And then on the back, it, it gives you all the um, ingredients. Now this one has a lot compared to some of the other ones. There is a lot in this one. So that's to me, not the best because I would try and go with less is more when it comes to these kind of things. But I know that these do have a really good reputation and I and I really like this one. Now this one is a 10 to 1 ratio. So that's a pretty good, that, that this gallon of shampoo will last a long time. So that's one. Wait, you should also say what it says on there. Oh, I'm supposed to say what it says on here. Like So, the, the, yeah, the, let me read this. <laughs> Hang on one moment. The camera lady, again, is being bossy. So it says here, made with, bleh, made with Dead Sea Minerals, Vitamins, Essential Oils, and Plant, plant Extracts. So it's just saying, saying 10 to 1 ratio, paraben free, environmentally um, soft on hands, and made with natural ingredients. And it's also cruelty free, I think. Uh, yes, it is. It's cruelty free because there's our little bunny. So it just says, shake well before use using warm water. Water wet coat thoroughly, apply shampoo from base of neck to tail. 
which you're doing that. So you're starting at the neck. And when I'm bathing a dog, that's what I do. I start at the neck and I work my way down. And then it's, it's, it actually says avoid eyes because obviously it's going to be sensitive on the eyes. So gently massage shampoo deep into the coat and skin, paying special attention to avoid the eyes. For best results, let sit two to five minutes. Rinse thoroughly, store at room temperature, use only as directed. So that's a pretty basic, um, basic directions. But so that, that's one of your choices. So my second one here, it's called Oat Mellow. It's from Groomer's Edge. And this is an oatmeal shampoo, thera therapeutic with oatmeal, melaleuca, and aloe. Um, aloe? Aloe. Aloe. <laughs> Are you hurting? <laughs> That's embarrassing, and we're not cutting that out. <laughs> aloe, it's not an oil <laughs> or gas or something. Anyways, aloe <laughs> from the aloe plant. Um, anyways, and apparently we're not cutting that out. <laughs> So, um, yeah, so this is an oatmeal. This is an eight to one ratio. One moment, I'm going to read you what the, um, the, uh, directions are. So, oatmeal, a professional shampoo combines the traditional healing properties of oatmeal, melaleuca, which is tea tree oil and aloe, aloe in a rich therapeutic shampoo for a natural skin soothing treatment. Oatmeal helps calm itchy skin and exfoliates dry flaky skin cells. The unique formula helps to eliminate odors often associated with skin irritations for use on dogs, cats, and other animals. So you can use this on other animals. And also I just wanted to mention when dogs have skin problems, like when a dog comes in, I can tell that it's got like yeast infection or something like that because it does give off an odor. So um, keep in mind that too, like if you're smelling a weird smell from your dog and it's, and it's itching a lot, that's a clear sign that there's definitely skin problems going on. So that's the second one. The third one, now this is this is one of my favorite sh shampoo, that, and I use this, the regular one, on a daily basis on most dogs. On It's a great double-coated dog shampoo, which I think I've mentioned in other videos. But this one here is the Lemonade shampoo, and it's a conditioning shampoo with oatmeal and um, jojoba oil. Great job. Did I say that one right? I'm not sure. <laughs> it says recommended for problem coats and sensitive skin. Um, and let me just read you this one. Um, so the, it works thoroughly entire coat, allow up to five minutes. Again, sit it on the coat for five minutes so that it penetrates into the skin and um, uh, rinse thoroughly. And then it's obviously telling you to use their, um, their best shot uh, conditioner as well. And that's another thing like, some shampoos you can get have conditioner built right into them. Other other shampoos don't, and you can you can add a conditioner if you like. If you're treating itchy skin, I unless you're using a conditioner for itchy skin, I wouldn't add a conditioner to it as well. That's my personal opinion, but you just want to focus on trying to heal the skin and the, the issues rather than adding too much product because you don't know if something else is going to irritate them. It's just like in food, like the smallest thing can irritate them. So this one is another one to try and I, I love Best Shot. So this one, like this one's almost empty. I need to get another one. And the fourth one, and this one I use a ton. And this one's great because it's Tropiclean, and again, this is another line of shampoo that has a ton of variety. It's an awesome, it's an awesome um, grouping of shampoos. It's a 10 to 1 ratio, and this is a medicated oatmeal shampoo. And what I love about this one is it's soap free. So there's no soaps in this, and it actually does sud up really well. So, because a lot of wacky shampoos that the vets will give dogs, like people will come in with their dogs, and they'll say, I have a shampoo from the vet, can you please use this on them? And that would be for specific like yeast issues and stuff like that. But those shampoos, as far as grooming with them and cleaning them, you don't feel like it's cleaning them at all. And I know that they're used for a purpose, but when you're just doing this to relieve your dogs at home, all these shampoos set up really well and they're easy to use and they're easy to rinse out. So this one here, I'm just going to read you what it says after I get my mighty glasses on. Um, okay, so this one is used as often as necessary, so you can use it like once a week even if you want to. And 
Like I would suggest, I know there's dogs that come in and the vet says they should be bathed with the special shampoos a couple times a week. So when they've got those issues, you need to just soothe their skin because them itching their skin all the time is irritating it even more because dogs don't leave well enough alone. They don't know to. So that they're, they're irritating their skin more by scratching and scratching. So this, these shampoos and the vet shampoos will relieve all those symptoms for the poor things. Um, so this one is, uh, it's really small printing. Um, it doesn't really, it's the same thing. Like just leave it on there for five, like plus five minutes and then rinse well and dry and then repeat as necessary. Another point I want to make too is when you're bathing your dogs, you have to really make sure that you get all the shampoo out. So over rinse because leaving shampoo on their skin is not good either. Like if, if I bathe the dog and, and I feel soapy, like I, I sometimes get my kids to help me um, bathe at Christmas time and when I'm really, really busy. And I always check the dogs after they've rinsed them. They're like, mom, you need to check the dog. So I run over and check. You can feel if there's soap. It's just like in your own hair. Feel that there's no soapy, slippy, um, residue left on their coat before you start draw, towel drying them. Um, so that's, those are the four that I have with me. There's lots more on the market. This is just a good example. I mean, I could do an hour long video on the million different shampoos, but I just stick to the ones that I, I feel are effective because you don't want to mix too many in because some people will come back from grooming and say, can you use that shampoo you used the last time is awesome, was awesome. I try to make notes when I, when I shampoo the dogs, but at least I know that it's going to be one of these four. So it's easier to keep track of. And I just, I just keep them on hand always just because there's always issues that come in and people don't always tell you ahead of time. So I always have this stuff on hand. So basically, um, when you're shopping for a shampoo, just keep in mind limited ingredients, watch for the great ingredients like oatmeal, um, uh, tea, tree. tea tree oil, which is, um, they'll, they'll say melaleuca or on this, which is tea tree oil. Um, Jehovah, am I saying that right? It sounds wrong. I don't know. <laughs> and um and then whatever that other one was that I messed up. Aloe. Aloe. No, no, I'm not aloe. It wasn't aloe. That's I know how to pronounce that. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. It was not we'll aloe. Go back to the footage. It was it, aloe, mom. No way. I swear no, to God. It yes, it was. It was on that one, and it was aloe. It's not aloe that I messed up. Yes, it was. You said aloe. I'm proving that I did aloe or something. No. Yes. No, mom. It was that one. We'll go back to the footage. Yeah, we need to. With oatmeal, melaleuca, and alloy. Um, alloy? Alloy. Alloy. <laughs> Anyways, well, where the heck continue. is it? Anyway. They don't want to hear this. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, so just, just look at the ingredients and what these shampoos all work great but it, again it's an individual thing not every shampoo is going to be effective on every dog it depends on each individual dog's um, ph levels and there's a lot of factors so maybe try one and if it doesn't work i know it's an expensive thing to be purchasing and not using it but make sure you can find one that comes in smaller bottles and then that way you're not wasting your money but generally, if you're picking one that's got limited ingredients, you're going to be successful and it's not going to hurt the dog. It's going to help in some way. But um, so these are the four that I use. And I hope that this, uh, I hope Mackenzie and I didn't argue <laughs> too much through this video. And um, if you have any questions at all, or if you've used shampoos yourself that you could suggest, because I, I always like to try new stuff out too. Um, and I like it to be recommended. There's, it can be overwhelming when you're walking in and looking at a full wall of shampoo. So please, um, like, comment, and subscribe. And, um, I hope this was helpful for everyone and we'll see you next time. Take care.